Oh my goodness, guys. This is Lisa. Uh, I have been oh sick last night and all day today. So this is exactly where I left you yesterday when I got a phone call. <laughs> I haven't been back to the table. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. So I was thinking I really want to use this, and I think this card is probably going to be the best bet to get that done. Um, some of the rabbit's going to be cut off because I don't want to cut off all of the guy because you'll know it's still a rabbit running, but I don't want to cut the guy's head off. So um, I think I'm going to stick him on here. And then I will go ahead and cut this off. But I'm still making ephemera um, for this journal. And um, I said yesterday that this would be the last video, but I meant for it to actually end yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, and now I'm getting another phone call. And you guys have got to hear before I put you on hold. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe you didn't hear it. I'll talk to you back in a minute. Okay. I do believe all of my phone calls are done now. <laughs> Okay, um, again, I'm sorry for the uh, shadow. Don't have that great a light. Uh, and I think that's as up as high as it'll go. So, you just have to bear with me and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, what was I thinking? Yes, I think I want to do this on here. I wonder, these are the same but yeah yeah I think I'll do this one on here and I was also thinking that maybe if I so that all not all of these are uh, let's see not all of these are little guys I could um, cut out one of these so that not everything is a um, is a rabbit on all of my tags. Of course, these aren't going to be rabbits, but uh, oh, but that would look really cute, and I think I can do without that one. That would look really cute on one of the tags. Let's see what else do we got. That would look cute on a tag. I think I'll do this one. Because I have, I have all these with storks on them. Well, there's one, one with storks on them, and that's that's plenty. What is her? What is her? No, because I like the saying: "May angels guard you through the night and keep you safe till morning light." I love that. Okay. Um, so I guess that's what I'm going to do: is cut out the stork or the little girl. What do you think? Oh, by the time you hear this video, though, I'll already had it done. I think I'll do the stork. That's what I'll do. I'll do the stork. But isn't that just cute? They're just so cute. Okay, so I have this one I'm going to do, which is super simple, easy, just gluing it on. Um, I've got this little guy. Super cute. Um might do something right here okay so we're not done with that one yet and then this one let's see I'm gonna need to do another one and I think since these are so thin uh, let's see do I have enough of this paper to do this Oh, yeah, I can just cut off what I don't have. So I think I'll back it with this, which will give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more oomph. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Get this done. 
And then I'm going to put napkin. So I want to get this napkin um, spread out. Just going to try and line this up on two sides. Ooh, that was really straight. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just cut off what's hanging. Just cut off what hangs, girls and guys. I don't think I have a whole lot of guys that watch my channel, but I know there's a few of you out there. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, I've subscribed to a couple of them, but I, I can't for the life remember what your names are. Um... I'm horrible. I'm horrible with names. I, I have to always look them up. Oh, speaking of names, I wanted to thank um, Tanya and Aaron. You signed up for my giveaway. Thank you very much. And you left very wonderful comments. Thank you very much. Um, so, thank you. Yes. Uh, I see I'll let that dry for a sec and I have two good I have two napkins left I'm just gonna give this a little cut right here napkins are really hard to cut <laughs> cut them straight ah! there we go okay and I think I definitely want the little butterflies and if I put if I put that like, huh, let's see, if I put that like that, I can put this down here, hmm, hmm, Let's see. I kind of don't like him walking in front of that flower. This way, it you know, all the flowers can kind of be along the, the edges. Yeah. So I'll lose this little butterfly, but that's okay. Maybe I can get them in the other one. Oh, there's different ones. That's okay. That's okay. So that's, that's my plan there. So let's get back into my Mod Podge. I see everybody with the wax paper around the Mod Podge so it makes it where it doesn't um, stick, your lid stick and stuff. I guess I'm, I, I guess because I use my finger most of the time that I don't get a bunch on the outside. I don't know. Uh, I haven't had that problem, so I hadn't had the need. But if you constantly are having your Mod Podge lid stick, if you don't already know, because it's not anything new, but some of you may be new, you can put wax paper on the top and then put your lid down, and the wax paper will help keep your Mod Podge lid from getting glued down and having it be very difficult to uh, un undo it okay so there's that and again I have nothing to wipe my hands on get my finger cleaned off here all right where was I gonna put everything right about here oh no well no that's not quite that's not quite where I wanted it but it's going down anyway going down anyway. Let's see if I just use the back the back of this and just kind of get all of those little wrinkles because they add texture and if they bubble up and in the center um, before before this video ends I've got a bubble in there and I'll show you how I take care of that. Um, but I gotta, I gotta let it dry. 
So there's that. This end here needs a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna put this over to the side now and let it dry. But yeah, I got a little, I got a little bubble. Got a couple little bubbles. Couple little bubbles. So anyway, okay, so they're not to worry about because they're totally fixable. And I think I'm going to have to go and get myself a paper towel. to also Mod Podge another one. I wonder, will this little guy, no he won't fit that way so I'll have to do him this way. Uh, I wonder, because this little butterfly is so cute, can I get Uh, see that rose just kind of loses him so maybe if I just do that I wonder that will probably cover up that butterfly yeah so I'm not gonna worry about that butterfly so I'm gonna move this all the way over to the edge and then I can fit him right down there and cut part of that off <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So let's get this little buddy. Pull up my sleeves. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. So, um, our handyman, carpenter, I don't know what you, what you call him, uh, mm -hmm. He has been in here all day today, sawing and banging, and oh my, it was quite noisy. And he had to have, he's got um, air tools. Now, I live in Florida, but um, he had to have his air tool to hammer everything that he was hammering, which means that um, he had to have his... Oh, I'm getting a little hair in there. That he had to have his uh, uh, tube that fe feeds his air tool. Whatever you call that thing. <laughs> Whatever that darn thing's called. And so the door was open all day. And he'd come through and I'd get up and go and close it. Well, you know, close it as far as I could close it. Um... And then he'd go back out, leave it open, come back in. And, you know, he finally, I think, towards midday started getting... But when he didn't have... When, you know, when he had his hands full, I was fine with him not shutting it. When he was bringing boards in and things like that, I was fine. And I told him, it's no problem, I'll get up and do it. Uh, I just had been sick, so I was cold. It, I don't think it got up much past 60, 60, 65, 64 here today, which, you know, some of you guys, that's like, well, when I lived up in, I've lived up in New Hampshire for almost five years and Washington State for 10, so I'm, you know, I know what cold weather is. New Hampshire especially. I've been in 22 below. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't care for that that much. <laughs> no, didn't care for that one much at all, but we made it through just fine. Um but yeah, I have been cold all stinking day. And I I don't know if I had a virus or something, but 
I'm, I'm much better now. Well, obviously, because I'm on, I'm on with you guys. Always makes me feel better. Okay, so obviously this is not enough on there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not Mod Podging. I'm not worried about Mod Podging it. I'm just sticking some glue on there. Glue is glue is glue. Um, and I'm just going to glue the other. So I'm going to stick this over and let it dry. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this. And then I will just cut it off. And then we'll see if there's anything else that we're going to do with this. And then we will, if we have time, we'll just go through and see where we're going to put everything. If we don't, I will just do a separate walkthrough with you guys afterwards. All right, now I don't want his head to get cut off, and I want as much of the rabbit as I can. And of course, I want it to be as straight as possible. So I got his head. Did I catch all the rabbit's nose? Don't want to lose. Oh, I'm going to lose a teeny bit of his nose. Darn it. Can I move it? Nope. Nope. I have to pick it back up. Do it again. This glue just dries so fast. That's another good thing about using Mod Podge is because the Mod Podge does give you some, some wiggle room time when you're doing this kind of uh, Okay. Let's try her again. Get him on there. Get him on there. Okay, you got his nose, missed his head. Dang gum! Come on, Lisa. Am I right on the edge there? Yes, I am. But I'm leaving it. I don't want to have to pick it up again. I'm afraid I'll, I'll rip it. some of that glue yeah that feels good that feels good and I think I can go ahead and cut this oh that's still a little wet don't want to get my scissors all gooey so we'll let that dry as well I did need to cut this out. I know how exciting you get to watch me fussy cut. You get to watch me fussy cut. It's so exciting. Um, but I think I'm going to be really happy with the work he's done. And uh, I'm actually staying here now through... Because my husband was going to come... I was going to leave Thursday morning and he was going to get the car and come back Thursday night uh, so that he could be here to sign off on everything and it just, that just didn't make a whole lot of sense for trips because it's a three and a half hour drive and uh, that just didn't make a whole lot of sense to either one of us so uh, he said, well, if I felt comfortable doing it, that that was just fine. And I said, once I met him, I felt very comfortable doing it. So, so if it's going to be bad, it's going to be all on me. <laughs> yep, yeah, I just have to make the executive decisions on stuff I don't really know a whole lot about. I know what I like, and I know if it's a good job, but... Um, we're making some good, pretty good changes in here so we can get it on the market. Get it on the market and get it sold. And then we won't have it to worry about and we can just take care of my mom um, and stuff. So that'll be, that'll be nice. That will be nice. We're getting ready to do a garage sale 
and last time we had a garage sale it was pretty much well we've been over there now a little over three years and it was pretty much right after we'd gotten there I, I said you know we've got a, we brought a bunch of stuff and you've got all this stuff I said in order for us to have some room we have to have a garage sale so she said okay and dad went through all his stuff and she went through her stuff she's kind of a hoarder now not a hoarder like you see the people on TV um, she she doesn't have that I you know and it's, it's a it's you're compensating for something it's a disease and I feel so sorry for those people and I feel sorry for the people you know their families uh, as well um, she just is uh, well, she was born in 1926. There was seven children in the family, and they never had any money. So you didn't get rid of anything. You know, you you used it for something else. And uh, if nobody else could wear it, then it you know it got used as as stuff to make stuff with or whatever you know. But anyway, um, so anyway. My husband gets up in the middle of the night and he hears this clattering and and uh, you know stuff moving around and he's like, "What the heck?" And he's goes down because at that time we were still upstairs. We're downstairs now, but he, so he went downstairs and he sees that the front door is ajar. So then he's really worried and so he looks out and the garage light is on. Now we had all of our garage sale stuff set up out there and in, in um, uh, you know on tables and everything because we were we were like two days away from the start of the garage sale so we had to have it all ready and tagged up and all that. So he gets out there and it's my mother with her three wheel cart and she has got the little basket that's on her cart absolutely full of stuff and he said Jean what are you doing and she says well I've changed my mind I don't want to get rid of these things and he said okay well you know it's it's 2 30 in the morning and she went I know I just couldn't sleep thinking about all this stuff that was out here and I just had to come and check it out again <laughs> so I made the mistake of leaving some boxes in the living room that I was um, filled up with my clothes and my husband called me today and he said would you please talk to your mother because she has pulled out half of the things that are in this box and she wants to try them all on and uh, I, I am pretty sure you said that none of this stuff would fit her and everything I had that I thought would remotely fit her she's much shorter and much um, smaller than I am um, at least nowadays she is um, and she uh, so I got her on the phone I said mom remember we had this conversation everything I thought would fit you I gave to you to try on well I know but I found a couple things I'm gonna try on anyway <laughs> she can be pretty high maintenance sometimes but we love her we love her. I don't know. Do I like that on there? No. It's too small. Too small. All this big stuff and then this just little teeny picture down there. Not, not good. Not good. Okay. Now let me get the first napkin and see how we're doing here. Yes. Okay. It feels like it's dry. And I have a little pocket. Um, I'm sure you can't see it. But right in this area, I have a little bit of a bubble that didn't get, and, and right here too, a little bit of a bubble. And I'm not putting Mod Podge on the top of this, um, so it's not going to get caught. Because uh, I think it's down nice enough that it's, it's not, to, except for this. So I, now having this fine tip is the only way I think it would work. But any any um, any one of the little the little plastic bottles that have the fine tips any of them will work getting the old glue off of there and I take 
a little sharp point and find where and I I poke into the largest area and I'm only going through the napkin and I just want to poke a hole and of course do you think I can get a hole poked in there heavens no just push that back out so let me take the point of my scissor you just want to poke a little hole there we go put your tip in to the hole get it in there you just got to be um, let me let me move you guys closer so you can actually see what I'm doing all right now let me line you up first okay hopefully that's I hope yeah it looks like it is so I made a little hole right here and I'm just trying to get I might have to make that a little larger just trying to get my let's see just trying to get that tip in there yeah I'm gonna have to make it just a little bit larger still in frame I think so and then you squeeze in some glue Oop. I had a little and then you're gonna take and you're gonna push that glue into all of the bubble area got way too much but I just want to get that in. but you want to be very careful because you don't want to rip the the napkin which I think I did I just want to get that kind of covered up so there's not a little white hole there although I think the rabbit will cover that up but that's what you do and then you're just gonna let that dry but I can go ahead and cut let's see I think I'll get Timmy. Come here, baby. All right. Cut. All right. Oh, let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and just pull this. Kind of support the card and just pull the napkin and then you get nice little edges on it now if you don't want that you can certainly cut and this here um, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna have to cut that and this I'm gonna have to cut so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut and I see I'm still got a little corner down um, let me go ahead and do that and I'll move on to the next one. Alright, I must have missed that corner. So let's go to this one. And this one, I've got quite a few. Now this one, let's see. Was I going to do... Pretty, pretty small for maybe if I stood him on top of the flower. Looks like he's standing on top of the flower. That's cute. Yeah, and then he's not quite as small. So let's glue him down right there. We'll glue him. Oh, I'm still too close now. Let me pull you out. You got to see that. I'm glad I remembered that. I've done whole videos where I've done that and uh, I've had to re redo everything because you couldn't see anything. You, you could see some paper but you didn't see any hands, you didn't see 
where the paper was going. You could just see the paper moving <laughs> because I had come in for a, a tight shot on something and then forgot to pull you back out. Whoops! I was, yeah, I'm just going to stick him right there. Look like he's stepping right into that flower. That's so cute. There we go. And he covers up all of those, all of those, uh, oh, no. So we'll get that. That'll dry. I forgot that's the one I just done. And this one has got... No, oh, it's down pretty well. It's down pretty well. And I was going to move him over a little bit. Yeah, just like that. So he looks like he's walking through a garden. I love that. I think it's so cute. We really have to... have to do our napkins more. You know, there's... I keep forgetting, especially when I'm doing my journals, and, uh, you know, they're just, journals are like, no rules, do whatever you feel like doing, and I think that's, I think that's one reason so many people really like doing journals, I know that's why I do it. Sometimes I want to do stuff that is very precise, and that's when I'll do, I'll work on a, a mini album. And, um, but when I want to just play with all my stuff and just no rules and just, I, I just find journals are so relaxing and some of this, like there's right here, there's a little bubble. So I'll do the same thing. It's just, but it's open at the end there. So you have to kind of watch that if you are ripping because it could rip the whole thing back. And there's another spot right there that didn't get didn't get done. I've got this fan on right above my head and it just really helps this stuff to dry pretty darn quick. Quicker than I want it to. But I like being able to rip the napkins because it just gives it a nice little nice little fine wispy edge to it instead of being so rectangular. So let me get in here and I'll just put the point in as deep as I can get it. Lift this up. There we go. And squeeze just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. And then there was one over here. Ooh. Ooh. This goes quite deep. Wow. And remember, you can spread this around so you don't really have to put a bunch. that gets all the way into that little spot and all the way out to the edge. Oops, and then I ripped it. Just kind of pull it back on itself and do the best I can. And you can always take another little piece. I just want some green and put it right across there. And then I'll just cut it off. And it just adds more. Is that loose there? No. Um, it just adds more to it. There we go. See, now that one I let the glue get a little drier, and then it didn't, um, it didn't smush the napkin up too much. Okay, 
Now, let's glue this little fella on, and I know I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be going all the way to the end. I'll line him up right about there. Sure, that's down, and isn't he just adorable? Love it. And good, I got the glue all the way to the end on that. Now I'm going to let him dry again, and let's cut this guy back out now. See how well I did with the getting Farmer Brown's whatever his name is, head on there and little rabbit's nose. Because it's a done deal now. It won't really matter if it's not all the way in there. And then this side. Yeah, it cuts much nicer. when it's dry. And that does just a little edge to it all the way to the end. There we go. Okay. Yep. Cute. That could actually make a cute little pocket. Yeah. That could actually make a cute little pocket. So I'll, now I'll stick that in there and then depending on what I use it for, I still have a little bit of napkin left. Stick that over there in the corner. Depending on what I use it for, we'll, uh, we'll, embellish, in it. we'll embellish it accordingly. Um, you're still wet. You should be dry. Oh, put Timmy away. I need you. I need you. Okay, so we're going to... Huh. I think I'm actually cutting into my card. Well, maybe a little bit. That's all right. That's okay. Just adds more flavor, right? just adds more flavor. I'm cutting the napkin off. I don't know exactly where this is according to the card. So now I can cut the back off. Probably would have been easier to do the back first, but it's not that much more. It's not that much more difficult. And this, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I'm going to go ahead and Probably when I get back to, I'm going to put eyelets in these. Um, let me go ahead and do my corners. <coughs> oh, I am so sorry, guys. I don't have my water here with me either. Just match this up. And cut it off. Oh, that's so cute. Babies are so cute. Babies are so cute. Okay, 
there's that one. And okay, let's cut. Well, let's just cut him off. Okay, and then I just tore a little bit of that excess off of there. So there we go. Let me do the same thing with him. As I said before, I, I didn't bring buttons because I could see so many things that I would love to do buttons on. So once I get home and get this sewn up, I will actually do uh, a walkthrough with you and show you how I finished everything up. Um, You know, and once I know where everything is going to be and stuff. So, let's just do a quick recap of everything I've got. So, I have this. 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 I have this envelope. And I've um, done the inside. And I put this little flower on. I think you saw all of that. And this little fella and this cutie pie and this where I put the three little um, pink butterflies to bring some pink into it. Um, I've got this uh, envelope. It, there is matching. I got this at a thrift store. There's matching um, like vellum paper with it. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, I was quite pleased with that with that little find. Ah, come on, come on, there we go. Oh well. Um, but I, I didn't do anything else with it because if you can see through there, you can see everything coming through. So really pretty. And then I've got this one where I did a collage, which I will probably do some collaging on these things once I get them home and go to do the eyelet. And I've got this little fella and this is going to be put in to the um, center signature. And then this one is going to be put into a center signature. Um, this one I didn't line. Uh, I think I will still do that. Huh, okay. And then I got these little fun things, which we did on the last video the last craft with me they're super cute super cute i love that uh and then we have um this in belly clip um that um, jen from dreams etc um, showed us how to do and i'm still going to be adding stuff to that one as well and then these are just you know i showed you these cards and I don't know if I'm going to use this in this book or not. It, it's not quite the, the right look, I think. I've kind of come up with that. So I think, because there's probably um, 12 to 14 cards there that came with the authentic um, paperwork, uh, the paper that I'm using, um, the beginnings. So... Um, yeah, so we've done good guys. Thank you so much for joining me with this and um, I also made a little uh, little binder clip got that color on one side and that color on the other with a little little bling on both um, and I have another one that uh, I'm gonna do I just this one I know exactly where I'm going to put it, but this one I don't, so um, I haven't I haven't figured that one out yet. 
Um, so I will have two, one for each signature. And yeah, I think that's about it. I did not use this little, this little baby deer um, piece, so I'll find some place to put that. Yeah, there you go. Fun stuff, and I still have quite a bit of, of stuff left over, which I hate. I hate having stuff left over, um, but, you know, say la vie. It's, it's, uh, oh, he didn't get used because part of him got cut off or something else. And, yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah. I think that's about it, guys. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for staying and crafting with me. I hope you were making something fun and interesting and exciting, and I didn't bore you to death. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye, guys.